hello there guys glad to see all of you watching another video of mine in this video what i'm going to discuss with you is how we can connect to google drive and access files from google drive uh, using python script so we are not going to develop much into the python scripting part what we are going to do is that we are going to understand or we are going to uh, know know how we can connect to the google drive api so basically how the things work oh, and this is that so the google the python script will connect to google drive using the google api and for that we need to create a um, a google drive uh, user uh, in our google dashboard okay so what we need to do first thing we need to do is that we need to go to the console.developers.google.com developers.google.com and first of all it will ask you for login but since i've already logged in it didn't ask me okay so this is the dashboard it is the console of google in from which we, have, we can use different apis of the that google provide like google youtube it may be for the youtube api it may be for the drive api or it may be for the spreadsheet api and all <laughs> okay so oh, so okay now what we need to do first of all we need to create a new project over here okay so these are the project i already have a project over here as a uh, for one of my client uh, let me just create a new project or we can create a new project is by simply clicking on this particular uh, drop down and then we can click on new project and it will take us to a new window from where we can create a new project you can give this thing name anything let me just give it as test google drive okay and organization is something you can leave plan it doesn't matter okay uh, so you can see our project is being created over here it has been created now we can either click on select project over here to get into this project or we can again go down to this one and select the project so this is a project test google drive okay uh, okay so now we what we need to do first thing we need to do so the thing is like you know first we need to enable all the aps of the services that we need to use number one number two is that we need to create a kind of a we need to give a consent uh, to google that we are allowing uh, the person someone to use this api from our account okay and the third thing is that we need to create a person create a credential so that a person who has that credential can use those api through our account okay so first let's enable the api uh, what the api that we are looking for is basically google drive right now google drive google drive api uh, We'll try API and we'll just need to enable it. It will take few seconds to enable. Okay, so please be patient with me. Uh, okay, so it is enabled. You can see it is disabled API, which means that it has been enabled in a while. Okay, now we need to give a consent. <coughs> consent is screen. You can see we don't have any user right now. So when we create on when we click on this create credentials, uh, we need to create this OAuth client ID user. Okay. Uh, for that, the first thing we need to do is that we need to create a consent for this one. So let's see. Uh, so consent has to be external <coughs> because someone from the externally will be accessing this particular uh, API. So that the only three things that we need to enter over here. One is the app name app name has to be same as the project name that is test hyphen google hyphen drive the user support email will be the one that uh, you can give any email over there but i was always recommend to use the email that we have used for a uh, from the account uh, from which we are using this uh, creating this api okay so the name has to be test google drive okay then the rest is something you can leave and the last thing you need to give the developer content. again this can be anything so i'm just putting mine only projects at gmail.com 
<clears throat> okay click on save and continue and you are good to go uh, you can see you don't need to do anything over here just save and continue uh, you don't need to add you oh, sorry <coughs> Uh, you don't need to add users right now click save and continue and it will ask it will give us the entire thing and that's how we have basically created the consent over there again okay, there's one thing that we need to do right now is that we need to publish our app this is important okay we need to publish our app uh, so now the pub now it's in production okay so now it can be used we have basically given a consent Okay, now what we need to do, we need to go to credential, click on create credential and use OAuth account. The application type will always be the desktop, will always be the desktop app. And again, this can be any name, let me give it Google Drive. Okay, just for the sake. And uh, let's, 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 let's. So you see, this is the account. This is basically what we have created so far. This is a client ID and this is the client secret. So instead of copying paste this thing, what I would recommend is that you download this uh, JSON. Okay, this is the client secret and uh, just close it. And this basically will be our detail of entire thing. So, so what uh, this is the main JSON. Uh, what we need to do when we are using it in a Python script using different uh, library. Uh, Python libraries, which basically connects to the Google uh, GAuth, uh, Google OAuth. Okay, we just need to provide them with this uh, uh, JSON file that we have downloaded, and we are good to go. So, uh, in case in future, whenever if we lose this file or something, what you need to do, you just need to click on. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, we just need to click on this download button this will basically open the entire thing and we can download the json again okay so this is the file that we basically were looking for now the file name is something you can always change there is no nothing because you will be basically inputting the name of the file in your python script okay so i hope this is okay with you and uh, yeah i think that's it that's it in the next in coming videos, I will definitely try to use this uh, JSON file and connect and use create a Python script to connect to this particular API and upload and download uh, files into a Google Drive. Okay, yeah. So thank you, and looking forward to catch you in my next videos.